All right. I was out here collecting mussels today down down here in the bayou. This is just an example of the mussel species down here. I'm not exactly sure what these are. I'm not very experienced with freshwater clams and mussels, but this is just an example of what you might find. Some lots and lots of little ones are very abundant there's hundreds of probably thousands along this stretch right here so another example this is probably a Texas heel splitter or a giant floater I found ones like this about the size of my hand this is just a little one I got a couple of these in this pile. And uh, here's the little mini clams. There's thousands and thousands of these along this bank. They're everywhere. You can spend five minutes looking for them and you could find probably a hundred. I gotta put all these back in the bayou in a little bit. They're a very readily available food source out here just you can harvest them just know your species if you're going to harvest them because there are a lot of threatened and endangered species in texas 70 percent of the 301 species of freshwater mussels and clams in the u.s are threatened with extinction not due to over harvesting due to habitat destruction and degradation these are very important to this ecosystem because they filter the water is one of their main purposes. They, they are filter feeders, so they uh, the water passes through them and it collects sediment and contaminants. There's also, these mussels are bivules, which is clams and mussels and oysters, I believe. And then there's these big freshwater snails in here too, which are gastropods. These are not filter feeders. They're, um, most freshwater snails are herbivores, so they'll actually go out and eat plants and the, eat some aquatic plants as their diet. They're also a major food source for animals like river otters and raccoons. I've seen a lot of busted open ones where river otters have eaten these big heel splitters and floaters. This is probably, I caught found two more two of these earlier and I wasn't planning on making a video so I just let them go I wish I hadn't have done that they was real pretty a little bit smaller than this one but still they was real pretty so I gotta put these back because I'm not sure if they're threatened or, or anything so I better put all of them back real interesting you can go down to your local creek or bayou or stream and find all all kind of these in rivers and lakes and all kind of bodies of water there's one third of all the mussel species in the world are in the united states 301 species and 70 percent that's 210 of these species are threatened with extinction mainly because they can't migrate or move around so they're usually endemic to certain bodies of water so their habitat and range is very limited all right so those are the freshwater mussels of east texas